table here. And, um, you know, most of you know my story. I had a huge health transformation in 2010. It was kind of a year-long odyssey. And um, it, today is not about me, honestly. We started talking about this the other day. And um, it's time that everyone hear my husband's story. And his name's Clyde, and he has a pretty phenomenal health journey that I think it's about time we shared. And so I'm going to put him on the spot today because I'm going to interview him and um, mm -hmm. so that you all can hear it because I think it's important. It's an important story to tell because more and more evidence is coming out that um, it's in, we need to turn to whole food nutrition, plant-based nutrition. And... The more that we uh, do that, the healthier we're going to get. And we're going to be able to stay healthy, even in crises like this. We, I just posted something on uh, with Dr. Katz, and I think it was really important. It's very relevant. Go to my page. You can uh, look at it, enjoy it. Hey, Kathleen. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put my husband on the spot. So hold on a second. All right. So this is my husband. Clyde and say hi Clyde. Hi, how y'all doing? <laughs> so um, I want you to take us back uh, to when you weren't doing so well. So what did that what did that look like for you? Well, let's see, I'll go back to around uh, about four years back maybe. I was having problems with gout quite a bit and I'd lay in bed a couple of days at a time with my feet swollen up. Uh, my knees would swell up at times. And uh, I was having a lot of digestive problems. My blood pressure was up. You know, I was kind of concerned about my uh, uh, blood testing mm -hmm. and the results. And uh, I was unable to walk any great distance you know what I mean I could walk but it, I was always feeling kind of tired I'd get up 10 o'clock in the morning I'd lay around uh, in my apartment and just you know just overweight I was really overweight to the point to where people were starting to notice it and, mm -hmm. and uh, tell me hey you need to do something did you have didn't you have a surgery or something yes I uh, had part of my colon removed and in emergency surgery and since then I've been doing better mm hmm so when you were at your well I'm gonna say when you weren't feeling all that well um, how did that make you feel just emotionally like where were you at well of course you'd have some different depressed times when you're laying in bed because you can't get out of bed because of your gout. Mm -hmm. uh, you was on a lot of blood pressure medicine and I would have blood pressure medicine everywhere in case I forgot to take it. I wouldn't be without it because one of them, if I went three hours without of it, I could definitely tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I just, I knew I was kind of in an unhealthy state. Yeah. Right. Right. So what was there? And you know, we all have defining moments. What was your defining thing that caused you to take a look at what was going on? Well, uh, mainly was because, you know, people would come up to me and they'd maybe tap me on the stomach and saying, oh, when's it due? Or uh, you need to do something about that. And I realized they were right. So mm. I started making some changes to trying to lose weight. Right, right. So, you know, we always, I always talk about simple changes you can make. Um, what were some of the simple changes you started to make initially? Well, I cut back on some of my sugar products I would eat. I was always a big sugar candy eater. <laughs> and uh, I ate a lot of cheese, a lot of dairy and uh, wasn't really exercising at all. Mm -hmm. How did your cupboards look at that time? Well, my cupboards were full of uh, what I thought was good, canned fruit, canned vegetables, uh, 
you know, uh, a lot of uh, gluten, flours, and stuff like that. Processed right? foods. Proce yeah. A lot of processed foods, uh, mm -hmm. basically. A lot of red meat and processed meats in the refrigerator right. for quick snacks. Which is, you know, when we look at our m most of our, what we call the standard American diet, which is a sad diet, that's pretty typical to see a lot of processed foods in your cupboards. So, so after you made some of those changes, what did you start experiencing? Just, just those dietary changes. Well, I started experiencing, I, I gradually started getting a little better. Uh, weight loss wasn't all that great, but I was started walking a little more. I, I got to where I could walk easier and farther. And uh, I just started feeling a little better mm -hmm. in general. Did you have less uh, uh, digestive disorders or like gut issues? Did you start thinking that it was getting a little bit better? Yes, I thought I was. Uh, it started getting better because uh, mm -hmm. I was, you know, I kind of started eating a little more healthy. Mm-hmm. Right. So after about a month, you decided to make some uh, more significant changes in your diet. Um, after we met and started dating, <laughs> what, what were some of those? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. After we met and you started educating me a little bit on the processed food and you introduced me to a plant nutrition, which I started taking. I started drinking some plant powder shakes and uh, eating more fresh food and gluten-free, non-GMO, less, no dairy. You know, I had to cut that cheese out. The doctor shook his head when he learned how much I was eating. And uh, I started feeling a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. So after about, you know, we always say it takes about four months to really see significant changes because your blood cells turn over at around 90 days, 120 days. So after four months, what were you experiencing at that point? Wow, I can think back and realizing I had no more gout in mm. my feet up to this date. I had no more gut issues. Um, they took me off of my main blood pressure medicine that I was so afraid of be being without. They cut the other two in all, in half, and my blood pressure has been fine. Mm -hmm. My my blood work comes back normal. My diabetes I was classified as diabetic once without being treated for, it, but them numbers all dropped into normal range. Mm -hmm. How was your energy? My energy level was way up. Uh, I'd lost quite a bit of weight, and people that hadn't seen me for a while they said, "Wow." You know, I'm surprised you have so much energy. And right. some of them even said, hey, what are you doing? Right, right. Well, now that was like in, within four months. So I'm going to fast forward everything. Now you've been on these plant-based powders, drinking shakes. You've been shredding. Uh, you've made some more lifestyle changes. Um, and so, and we're pretty excited about all of the changes we've been seeing. So now we're fast forwarding two years. So like as of right now, how are you feeling? What have you been experiencing? I have a lot more energy. I'm not laying in bed till 10 o'clock in the mornings. I, I get up and like you and I went for, have been going for walks early in the morning over three miles, three and a half miles. Today it was 3.8 mile in just a little over an hour mm -hmm. and uh, just real energetic. I've worked at 72 years old. I've worked, you know, 400, 450 hours a month for, and uh, energetically. Climbing those ladders again. Climbing the ladders, no gout, you know, my knee hasn't swollen up on me and uh, I just been, I'm feeling great. Yeah. My birthdays. I'm going to be 70. I was 72. I told everybody my birthdays went backwards. So <laughs> I'm 70 now. I, I think, think you're actually in your late 60s. I think you're going way back. <laughs> right. That's good. <laughs> that is good. That is good. So healthier weight, more energy. Um, 
oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. No gout, no digestive disorders that you're experiencing. No bloating. No bloating. Let's say all better uh, regularity. Um, yeah, and you're walking great. I was really uber proud of you this morning. We almost went four miles at a pretty fast clip and you were staying up with me. So that yes, was, was pretty exciting. <laughs> All right. So, um, so thank you for sharing that. How, well, how does that make you feel now versus, uh, you know, two, I would have been two, a little over two years ago. Now, how do you feel about yourself? I feel, I guess if I can use the word kind of proud of myself, maybe that's not the right word to use, but I'm, I'm glad that I made those changes. I, uh, I just feel a whole lot better. And, and I want to tell others what, just a little change in diet and lifestyle, especially getting enough fruits and vegetables through your plant powder, that mm -hmm. uh, your energy level just comes up and you just feel energetic, you know? You wanna wake up and do something. Right, right, that's very cool. So, okay, so thank you, Clyde, for sharing that, first of all. So, um, so um, I am so super uber proud of this guy for all the changes he's made, that commitment that he's made. And, you know, it starts with little changes, just little tiny changes. All of us can do that. We don't have to, uh, we don't have to make, you know, big leaping changes all at once. Sometimes it's little tiny things. But we are going to have a new group forming on May 4th. I'm always encouraging people if you would like to up-level your health, if you'd like to feel better, if you'd like to have more energy, um, you know, the byproduct of eating better is we look better, we feel better, um, and sometimes uh, we get to a healthier weight and we lose some of those aches and pains that are going around. And so, you know, that was my story, is being able to um, get to a healthier weight, getting off lifestyle medications. And Dr. Katz really nailed it today in that article, um, really talking about how 70% of our lifestyle uh, chronic diseases can be prevented by better diet. So we have a new group forming on May 4th. I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm inviting all of you, if you uh, this is uh, intriguing you, you're curious about it, um, just put a little emoji or just say, I want to know more and I'll get back to you. Um, but this is the real deal. And you know what? We all want to age healthier and more vibrant. And that's exactly how we're living our lives. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Clyde, because uh, people have seen his uh, health story, but he's really never expressed where he was. And I will tell you, we're going to drop some pictures underneath this video of a before and after. And, and he and I are both kind of blown away, mind blown, as to where he was at and where he's at now. So, um, and we are living life fully, fully, um, when we can't wait to have uh, this, the quarantine lifted so we can get back to traveling and going to sporting events and just living life um, to the plus. So anyway, if you're interested, down below, comment. I'll send you some info. We'll have a chat. Um, anyone can do that.